Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There wasn't just one radio released this week. No. There was actually three, but we're going to get to that in a second. I don't know if the third one was actually technically released this week, but number two, they gave a lot of people the uh, Woodrow Wilson, where the Yesu <laughs> fanboys, as they're called, they call themselves proudly the yes. Yesu fanboys. Now, the FTX 1F. You can reserve yours now at DX Engineering. I think the hold is 35 ducats. You can hold your radio of $35. I don't know what the sale price for this rig is, but we're going to talk about what the fellows have learned about this rig. Uh, Scotty, why don't you go first? What do you know? All right. So, yeah, so I think you can, get a, you can reserve at uh, DX Engineering and also at uh, HRO uh, for $35 mm-hmm. and probably other couple of vendors that get parts too or are, are taking reservations for this uh for this new uh new Yesu. So yeah, it made a big stir. Um people were calling it the uh there it's coming after the ICOM seven oh five. Uh it's an all bands, all mode um QRP um rig, uh HF up through uh, four hundred and thirty megahertz. So I guess technically not all band, but um, so making it a versatile, uh, a versatile, various amateur radio bands, this transceiver is particularly notable for being SDR based. So like all the new rigs coming out, the, the, I like the 703, like the ICOM 705, the ASUS, uh, the, 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 the FT10 and their 101s, the newer 101s, these are all SDR based radios. You got, you know, you got a lot of, a lot of, uh, features for your money with, uh, when you get into the SDR software based things. So it's going up against the uh, 705. It's uh, it has a battery. So let's check out the uh, I got the, uh, the 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 specs that were released for it. Key features. Um, also, I think available availability will be early 2005. I think is what they said. This thing's coming out. Oh, okay. That's so early okay. two th- early 2025. Um, they kind of released it at the Tokyo Ham Fair uh, over the weekend. Um, frequency coverage spans HF through VHF and UHF. Uh, on all modes, which is cool. SDR technology leverages SDR technology, which provides greater flexibility and improved performance compared to traditional radios. Uh, dual independent receiver. So this is a cool thing. So and there is a bit of speculation um, whether or not it's true, true, uh, full duplex. Um, but this uh, this might pique the interest of some of the satellite folks. But it has two independent receivers. Um, enhancing its capability for monitoring multiple bands simultaneously. So it'll we'll monitor two different bands simultaneously. Whether or not it's it's full duplex between with those bands or not remains to be seen. As far as I know, I don't know if that's been uh, been found out yet or not. So that could be really cool for satellite stuff, um, being able to transmit, you know, on the VHF and then listen to yourself come back in the uh, in the UHF. That's really important if you're doing satellite work because you need to know if you're getting into the bird or not. Um, and, and, uh, you know, or ruining it for everybody else that's trying to, and you can't hear what you're doing on there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the display interface, uh, front panel, it's a large high resolution screen resembling, um, resembling the design of modern radios like the 705. So I'm got similar thing. It's got that cool 3d, uh, um, Yesu waterfall, which I kind of dig. Um, it's a six watt radio. Um, it can, uh, if you use it with an external battery, it does have an internal battery when using the internal battery, six watts. Uh, it can do up to 10 watts when using an external uh, external power. Uh, and there's some accessories that Yesu is going to have uh, available for it. An optional automatic antenna tuner as, a, as an add-on. I don't, I don't know if that's a, it's probably a separate uh, box. Hmm. Um, yeah, you can add a high, on yeah, the picture I saw clamped on the back of the radio. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, high capacity, um, 5670 uh, milliamp hour uh, lithium ion battery pack, uh, as well as an optional cooling fan, um, which they recommend for uh, digital modes like uh, doing FT8 and stuff. So that's uh, huh. that's looking real cool. This is replaces the 70, uh, the 817 and 818 in Yesu's. Uh, product line and uh, fills the fills, fills that QRP uh, hole with a very nice very nice rig that came out a lot of people were, were excited about it yeah so Steve this again is another specialized market this has a specific mm-hmm. ham in mind talk about that it's for the QRPers and so ones that I want to go out into uh, backpacking this is a like the 705 it's a 
a portable radio that you can use an internal battery, uh, get the six watts, and then uh, and like the 705, it didn't have a tuner, but there's so many tuners out there. You can you know if you can get the one from Yesu, or in the case of ICOM, you can get the ICOM one, or you can get an LDG uh, tuner. There's other tuners out there, or just you know have a build a resonant antenna and not worry about the tuner. So, but this market is for. Um, it's a, spe- a specialized market. It's not for every, every the average ham, I would say, that operates from their house. But, I mean, there's people use it from their homes, too. So uh, it follows the same lineage as uh, the rest of the latest uh, Yesus as far as form factor, like the ICOMs. The, they, you know, the 7300 and then the 7600, the 705 has the same uh touch and feel and so yesu's following the the same trend so the only difference between the two yesu's doing the the c4 fm uh digital mode uh whatever the <laughs> i don't follow digital modes and d star <laughs> on the uh on the icoms but uh i think it's a great uh, market the eight 17 and 18 has been it's a stale radio it's been around for quite some time and it's uh yesu kind of yes they're following icom yes they're you know like they did with the 710 but you know someone has to lead someone has to follow and it's one of those one of those deals but i I, think it's uh I would, if I was into the QRP and going out, I I would definitely get something like this, because yes, I'm a I'm a Yesu fanboy. Yes, I <laughs> see. Super. Let me uh, <laughs> let me ask you, Steve. When you were coming up, was there always a, a radio and a market for QRP guys and girls? I mean, was it a thing, or did this sort of have a really big turn? I think it did have a really big turn. When we were doing parks on the air, and I guess in what was that? What was it 2016 or something like 16, that? 16, I think. When it, it, I think it started it, but there there always was a QRP uh, faction in the hobby, uh, but not to where the big boys were involved in it until I think the I would say the last 15 years uh, that uh, it's really Cicadas. kind of came into play there was always the specialized stuff the the kids and this and that <laughs> sorry but, i've i've got the uh i've got the door open and you're hearing cicada it sounds like a rain stick you know like, like, like some shaman like, or hell out that? here in my yard you know we're trying to get the bad spirits away uh, the cicadas I, I, or, it's okay keep working buddy keep working get the get the incense out and bless the house do all the things with it. it's like shh and i could hear uh i could see scotty like the hell oh, is that? No, no, my faders. Well, and me, for the folks down in the southwest, they would go, "Oh, rattlesnake!" <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah. Shh. I, I think, I think, uh, and I don't have any information about this at all. This is just pure speculation on my part. But I think we're going to see um, one of the, I guess, the last tired radio in Yesu's uh, Yesu's lineup is the FT nine ninety one. It's great rig. I got I got an old one that I bought from uh, from Ben, and it's been great. I. Th- Think and I hope that we're going to see a new 991 or similar um, coming out with this in this form factor. Um, so it's you know that's all mode, all band. It's basically this rig, but with you know 100 watts as opposed to six watts. Something. What's well, this going to cost? The two oldest, radio, the two oldest radios. Were, oh geez, look at that balloons! <laughs> oh look at that! <laughs> wow! Look at that. What are you doing? I don't know on? what was going on around here, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, so the the two oldest radios on in the Yesu lineup now is going to be the nine nine one Alpha and the eight ninety one. So yep. <clears throat> so yeah, there there'll be the next couple to uh, to you know get an upgrade or a facelift. Yep. So 10 watt great. radio for me, 10 watts. I, I need all my watts. Like I, I'm probably not a buyer of this radio or the other one uh, for different reasons, usually financially. But I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe this is in like the 1200 range. Is is there any information coming out? I had there's I, have, I haven't come across any any speculation on price. So I'm, if, I'm, if I, I don't know what the 705 go for. I'm probably a similar price bracket, mm-hmm. I would assume, but. 
To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.